Hi there, welcome back here guys. Welcome in the first preview video of my newest Next.js course. So let's take a look at what I have been working on today. Okay, so today I've been working on a couple of things. Here you can see the preview of the application. It's not that great yet. It just have a background, a green background and some text. Uh, this text is actually the stringified products. So let's take a look on the code perspective because this is actually more interesting. Yeah, we have been, I, I was working on a layout component, which is highly reusable. We are providing CSS as a modules. Okay, so they are encapsulated in the component. Then I have been integrating Tilewind uh, Tailwind framework. I have injected here a couple of uh, couple of variables, and also of course the Tailwind we have to have a post CSS. Okay, so I will yeah I was explaining how how to integrate post CSS, how the how the Tailwind CSS framework works, the benefits of a Tailwind, and then we have I've been working on a couple of components, and of course I have prepared also lectures from from it, and you can already find these lectures on academy.einco.com. I think the progress speed is quite good. I recorded eight lectures and tomorrow I'm planning to record eight more, 10 more. Yeah, I probably maybe even more lectures. So we already have something we can uh, we, we can show. So it will be actually, we need to provide some stylings and to show the products and this will be working on tomorrow. Uh, then, yeah, there is a very re reusable architecture of the Shopify and BigCommerce. So we are supporting both of these. Actually, I'm supporting for now Shopify, but I can easily switch to BigCommerce uh, where we, I've been working on the API and uh, uh, product queries. So we have a functionality to, to get all products from our local uh, server. Okay, then a reusable architecture. So if every framework has its own config with its own uh, unique variables. So some setup you want to make only for specific provider. And yeah, there is, there is this configuration we are merging together. So in the case we are working with a Shopify, we would like to only provide some specific setting only for Shopify and also paths in our paths in our in, of our imports should all, only point to Shopify uh, framework. But the, all of this is explained guys in the lectures. I just want to pre show, tell you a preview of what I've been working today. And that's the result of the preview for today. It will be actually looking much better tomorrow. There are already 70 lectures, 75 lectures in the course. I'm adding more today. So one more time, uh, if you want to see the course, preview the course and watch the lectures, I will be adding more lectures every day. Just go to academy.enco.com, check the description of the video. There is a link to the project and everything you need. And yeah, with all of that, guys, I will, yeah, I will, I will be I'm probably recording another preview tomorrow or maybe every second day. So it's not so many previews. So guys, yeah, see you around. Cheers.